Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. I am your girl, Milan Garcon. I hope y'all not tired of me and my sad girl shit because I am feeling much better and I've been feeling better um, for the right reasons, I think. I've been feeling better because I've been just doing a lot of healing and a lot of journaling, a lot of just self-work. And I'm also just deciding that my happiness, my life, my career, my goals, my health, my body, my life, you know, my aura, my energy, my things, it's all up to me. Like, no, like nobody else is going to make sure you're the fuck okay. And I think turning 30 has really, oh, it's got to chill. Changed the way I view myself. Um, it's been a really tough year for me, but I'm willing to let it go for for something better. I'm willing to let go of every idea of who I thought I was. I pretty much just decided to take my happiness and take my life into my own hands by any means necessary. And that can be very scary because, you know, you have to take risks to basically come up. Like, that's just the way that this world is set up. Like, if you're not taking big risks, you're not going to get the reward that you want. It just is what it is. If you're not being patient, you will get into burnout. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all of these things I'm realizing that I have to just like push through and continue to live on. And yeah, so we're about to do this moan shot. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. I am gonna do my moan shot in my thigh again. I've been, fuck. Whoop, there goes that one. Hold on, I just dropped the syringe, so give me a second. Okay, I have another syringe. Um, that, I hate when stuff like that happens. Thankfully, I have hundreds of these parts. I've also decided that over moaning is just not the way to go. I'm going to do what my doctor tells me to do. I'm gonna do my best to not over moan this next year because I'm going to be getting surgeries done in 2025. Like, you know, she's been transitioning for two years. By the time I get my surgery, I'll probably be closer to three. And I want my things. So I'm really excited, but I have to keep on hustling. I gotta keep on investing in myself. I'm really going to get this podcast off the ground. I've been trying to get a podcast off the ground for like the past five years. So, you know, I'm, I'm making it a huge point and goal to get that up and running by 2025. I have a few months to really get some things figured out. I've done many test trials. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. I know what will work and I know what won't work. And for me, what won't work is waiting till it's all gonna be perfect because shit ain't never gonna be perfect. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for this year's journey. I'm supposed to do a point two five, but like girl, what the fuck? I'd be doing like four times that. So <laughs> I'm going to a point five this week because I'm supposed to do a point two five every week. So I've been doing like a full syringe every week, which I'm sure like my doctor would be super mad if they knew. But I haven't been to the doctor in a little while, so I'm going to, I've been dying it down because when I go back for my blood test, I don't want my estrogen levels to be skyrocketing like how they normally are. Like normally my estrogen levels are like through the roof and my doctor gets really upset and he's like, I'm gonna take you off my own. You're gonna have to bring them all the way down. So I'm just like, Ugh. but now, okay, I'm gonna do this in my thigh again. I'm so nervous to do this in my thigh again, y'all. Like, oh my God, y'all just do not know. The last time I did it, I had a whole breakdown. It was like really intense. We're gonna do it. Okay, that's like five and a half. I'm like so nervous. I haven't done it in my thigh in so long. It's been like so long. We're doing amazing. Oh, that was perfect. We have new faith back in the thigh again. So that's exciting because my arm was starting to hurt me. Yeah, so every so many months, like for the first six months of my transition, I was definitely doing it like on my arm. And then like the next six months, I went to my thigh. And then last year or early this year, I went back to my arm because I don't know. I was doing my arm. I've been doing my arm for the majority. <laughs> like I will always, I will always go for the arm. But the thigh was just so easy again and I don't have to do all of that. And okay, whew, that was that was cool. That was nice. Sometimes doing your hormone shot is like really, it's not, the, it's not the walk in the park that everybody thinks it is. Like just because a lot of girls do it and y'all, I need to go ahead and send this back because I'm like getting to the point where this is kind of full. 
always get you one of those. But yeah, you all, I'm I'm journaling. I'm doing those things. I have this book called Dear Universe. Get this, buy this, if you guys can. Buy this. It's, it's a very short read. It's about 100 pages or so. 52. And it has, like, short passages in it. Like, I'll read today's passage, and it really... It really was, like, I've read this book once before, but now that I'm reading it now, I just have a whole different take on it because I got different shit going on in my life. So it's one of those type of books. It's like a self-help situation where it's like you get these messages, these daily messages that just remind you that life is going to lie. So today's passage is, Dear Universe, today I ask that you help me determine and differentiate my own values from those that have been imposed upon me. That was deep. That was deep. What matters to me? Versus what other people said says should matter to me. How how other people perceive me and see me and and think that I should do certain things or be a certain type of way or care about certain things and and you know, prioritize in certain ways and make certain decisions like is that how I feel or am I allowing other people to impose those values on me? <laughs> And help me to be authentic and to present my own power. No, let me read that correctly. Help me to be authentic and <laughs> help me to be authentic and to present in my own power. Help me to remain centered in my own truth. Help me to know that my truth is not absolute or perfect, but it is the best truth that works for me. And so it is. Universe today, I recognize my voice. So, you know, little passages like that. I have a journal. I try to write in it daily and I use it be because I have ADHD I or undiagnosed adult ADHD, I should say. I have to like make everything a challenge. I have to make everything like this dopamine hit. Like I have to make sure that like I'm doubling down on the things that I want to practice. And one thing that I find that works is like for me to write in my journal. I've made it something where I practice my cursive so I can only write in my journal in cursive unless I'm like doing like a bold word and I need it to stand out for me. And for like the journal, like I just need this word to just get out of me in that way. Then I like capitalize and carry on like that. But um, I try to only write in my journal in cursive. And now I can write in cursive fluently. Like that was my first thing was to be able to write in cursive without stopping. Like not, but not like chopping up the words, like writing in cursive like an adult. And now I've turned that into, you know, fluid cursive, fluid script writing into now I'm trying to perfect the shape of my letters and like make it pretty and make it like classy and you know very ladylike very like oh shit this bitch writing cursive like yeah like it's a lost art so I'm um, I'm working on all of that I am still applying to jobs I am you know doing what I can and doing what I gotta do your girl is film queening and I live down and I'm just so I'm just so proud of myself for really deciding to take my power back and own it so we got some shit coming up. New vlogs coming out. I'm going to be vlogging the correct way. I'm not just going to be showing y'all where I'm at. I'm going to be showing y'all me walking in places, walking out of places. Like, you know, just really, really trying to bring that quality back to the channel. Because I think when I when I jumped back into YouTube about a year or two ago, I was just like, you just got to get the shit up there. Like, you got to get it up there. But now we've made it a habit. We've practiced it. So now I want to start perfecting my craft on YouTube again as well. Because that was also a big reason why people came to my channel. Because, you know, my quality was nice as well. So, we're making it. We're making it. Praise the Lord. Y'all, real quick before we go. I'm going to have my hair done the next time I come to y'all. Or maybe I'll do it on here and like do like a story time. But I scratched my nose in my sleep and I'm so like over it. I Here I was dancing and I scratched myself in my eye. Because I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. And so that is like already showing me like how this little thing is. This is like showing me how this is going to heal. And I'm not happy about that. I've been putting shea butter on it. I've been putting everything on it. I need to put some aloe on it. Now that it's to like the, the scar crusting part. But ooh baby. This little uh. It better be gone. It better be gone. I'm going to be exfoliating down. I'm not even going to have a nose locked. But all right, y'all. Thank you all for watching. And it's been real and it's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. And I have to catch you in my next one. Mwah.